So two, three, four, and five. Actually, we don't do that because we are just above water level. Okay, so now the track stays on this level and continues going around the lake is the plan. So the uh, the track will go. You can see the lake there. You go up, come through some trees, and then open back up beside the lake. And there's your destination. That's not bad. It's pretty good. I like how that looks. All right. So let me continue coming through here. Uh, how does this work? We want to go diagonal up to like here, right? Up to here, although there's some trees in the way. Let us say we want to go diagonal like that, which means this tree has to go. This tree also has to go. This tree also has to go. And probably that tree as well. Yeah, well, yep, no, this tree has to go. Alright, that's gone. What am I. Oh, okay, this tree has to go. I mean, it's pretty troublesome now, but I imagine when the track is complete, it'll be very interesting to be going through the trees on the minecart. What am I stuck on? I mean, this here, what is this? Alright, let's get rid of those. Uh, oh, okay. Um, hmm, that's a little embarrassing. Um, I guess we can have a little bit of a bend here. I want to have as few bends as possible. Hmm. No, this, this should be fine. Alright, let's push this back a couple of blocks. A couple more blocks, and then we come straight across this way. I guess we want to skip past this tree. So if we come through diagonally here, we can get away with not demolishing that tree. Good. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The more bends there are, the more complicated the redstone, redstone circuit is going to be underneath. But I think it will be fine. It's not too crazy. That tree has to go. Those leaves have to go. So we want 
two, three, four, and five, and come across here to there. Hmm. Oh, so interesting. So uh, when you come down here, you can like see the track going around the water. Hey, that's nice. Okay, a couple of these trees have to go. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of this one. And then we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, it's heavy rain. So there's light rain and there's heavy rain. I haven't seen heavy rain for a while in Minecraft. Good thing that uh, we're in a video game, so we don't have to stop for the rain. We decided we want to go straight from here, right? Two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a flower. Five. And then I guess this tree also has to go. It's a little bit too close here. Uh, Wesley says, Hi, Simon. Happy late New Year. Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too, Wesley. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I hope your absence from my streams means that you were having such a great time. <laughs> in real life that you could not be bothered watching Minecraft. <laughs> did you have a good one, Wesley? I hope you did. Ah, uh, ah, these vines. You know what, maybe I'll do the vines um, off stream. Wesley says, great time, hard exams. Oh, then, what, you have exams during Christmas? Who decided that was a good idea? Why is that allowed? <laughs> it's not allowed. Exams over New Year's. Alright, well, it's good that Christmas was nice, at least. <laughs> so I think we just go straight from here, don't we? Oh, this tree. Okay, this, this tree has to go, unfortunately. It's a shame if we chop down a giant tree. But from there, I think we can just go straight across. There's a little bit of a lake there, but we don't mind that. Wesley says, you have exams next week, so you're studying... Oh, okay, so you have to study... You have to spend the holiday studying, and then you have exams soon. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's like, oh, technically... Technically, you don't have exams during holidays, but, you know, it's right after, <laughs> so you have to study anyway. Uh, that seems unfair. Who can we complain to? <laughs> Who can we... Can we write a letter to someone to complain about the timing of your exams? <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's put this straight through here. Uh, and figure out which trees we have to demolish along the way. So this one has to go, which is a shame, it's a giant tree. But you know what? The jungle is full of trees! So in the real world, sometimes um, trees will be protected because they are old and have you know historic value or they have aesthetic value, and then you have to build your stuff around the trees because uh, it's illegal to cut them down. Wesley says, kind of behind on the videos though. I'm still watching you build a Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, well the videos mostly is just it's mostly doing the same stuff over and over again. Unfortunately, that's the nature of this project. 
which is that um, we're just building tracks. Let me just demolish some of these trees in front of us so I can see the ground and figure out where to put... Okay, so we, we come up to this level for a while. Um, so I guess we will go to like there, two, three, four, and five. Actually, no, let's step forward maybe like one more block. And then we, we uh, slope up. I think we should slope up from this one onwards. So you go there, and not, not you. There. Four and five, and then... What the? Oh, the vines. And then another couple of blocks. One, two, three, four, five. These vines, man. Such a pain. Um, so we stay on this level for a while and then step down again. Let's let's stick to the contour of the of the ground. So we go to there, and then to there, and then uh, I think just one more from there. Four and five. <laughs> I like that, Wesley. Vines are so 2012. Hey, it's a shame that Vines got... got uh, shut down. What happened to Vines? Was it not profitable? It wasn't profitable, right? And so they couldn't actually sustain the business. Alright, so straight across from here... Wesley says they kind of just kind of renamed it and they all became GIFs, I feel like. But GIFs don't have sound. Vines had sound, didn't they? I don't... I actually don't know the details of what happened to Vines. Was it an inefficient format? Like, what... Was the format just... I don't know. Not very good? Or not efficient? I mean, there's like short videos. I mean, there, there still are short videos. Anyway, vines are still in Minecraft, and uh, they're kind of annoying because they don't. They just float in the air. Look, after you demolish the leaves, the vines just float in the air. So. Maybe it's a little like real life, vine, not not actual vines, but because there are still vines on the internet, they haven't been deleted, all of them. It's just that you can't make any more, right? 
Wesley says maybe it's to do with how YouTube revenue works now based on time whilst they're more on view more than on views. Possibly. I don't I don't think Vines ever got monetized. Because there were never ads on Vines, were they? I think they just never made any money. They just never figured out how to make money. From the uh, from the videos. Alright, I guess we're stepping down one block here for a little while. Let me demolish some of these trees so I can see what's going on. It's a bit of a valley here. Not that it matters. So that has to go. This has to go. And then this has to go. <laughs> Wesley says it would be stupid to watch a 30 second ad for every 7 second vine. True. <laughs> True. Yeah, maybe maybe the format was just not... was not conducive to being monetized. I mean, like, a 7 second vine... A 7 second... if the vine itself was an ad... That would make sense, but then... If, if you make them ads, then... That means people have to pay to make vines, and nobody could afford to pay to make vines. You know, it's the problem is very similar to Twitter. Twitter also has problems with monetization. Like, really short, really small bits of content. Like, how on earth do you monetize 140 characters? and maybe an image. Okay, so we step down at this point. Uh, which should be simple enough. Let me get rid of those. Maybe I should step down from there, in fact. <laughs> uh, Wesley, there are promoted tweets for Twitter. That's how they monetize Twitter. So sometimes when you look at your Twitter feed, there's like promoted. So you can pay money to have your tweet pushed to people who don't follow you. Although, having said that, I'm not sure they make very much money from doing that. Coming down to this level. Hmm. I mean, why couldn't they do promoted vines? Maybe they could have. Wesley says, I never use Twitter, but I guess that there's a similar system on Facebook. Yeah, that's right. It's similar to Facebook. You can uh, push your posts to people who don't who don't follow you. <laughs> I like how how pushy that sounds. Paying to promote Facebook pages and posts, yeah, that's right. And then your 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 stuff will just appear on other people's timeline, even when they don't ask for it. <laughs> I like how when you say it out loud, it sounds so rude. <laughs> it's like you just put people on other people's uh, timelines. Put stuff on people's timelines without them asking for it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Probably should demolish this tree here. Alright, let's get rid of that guy. Do I keep going straight through until I'm out of the jungle? I do, right? Oh, that's a lot of jungle. Alright, we keep going straight until we're out of the jungle. 
good plan. Yeah, I mean ads are ads are necessary in a way. I mean conceivably and Google says this, if you kind of listen to Google talk about ads They'll say things like, you know, if their ads are properly targeted, they will help you find stuff that you didn't even know existed, but that you really want, right? And you know, when, the, when, when Google says that, it's, it sounds great. It's like, oh, imagine this product that you didn't know existed, but you find out about it and it was just what you wanted. <laughs> And with Google's AI algorithms, the computer knows exactly what you want and can give you all the things you... I mean, when they say it like that, you're like, oh, hey, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah, this AI algorithm can tell me about stuff that I don't know about. And I'll be really happy when I buy this product. <laughs> yeah, Wesley. I mean...